Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. And today I have an unboxing from the Daily Grace Co. Um, when they were having obviously one of their sales and had some of their new products, there was a new study that I wanted to get my hands on so I could go over it and review it for you. And there was just a couple other things I got, nothing crazy, but let's go ahead and get into this unboxing without any other delay. Let's open it up. Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's just take everything out and then we'll get the box out of the way and then we will go through it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna bring your attention to is they always give a beautiful little thank you card and then they have all of their social media stuff on the back. So if you ever want to look at anything, there's your hashtag. Here's the website. I always shop the website and get everything on sale. Um, I'll make sure I have a referral link and I will put it in the description below. I don't make any commission. I don't get anything. Um, I'm not an affiliate. So I do want to throw that out there, but I will throw a referral link. So there's the thank you card. One of the things that has been out of stock for the longest time is these verse card stands. If you have seen any of my other videos, um, I have ordered some of the verse cards. And this is simply a little piece of wood, nothing fancy. And I'm just gonna use this thank you card as an example. You would simply put your verse in there and it'll stand it up. So you can have your verse that you're working on for the week, um, maybe a reminder or something that you need that you're working on. Um, just have that sitting out. You could put it on your desk, you could put it on your dresser, your nightstand, maybe in your bathroom. So if it's a memory verse you're working on, you would be able to concentrate on that memory verse while you were getting ready in the mornings. Nothing fancy, I did order two of these. One of these is going to be a gift for somebody. So there's that. And again, these verses, um, the verse cards, they come in packages like this. There are all kinds of great verses. There's even some great verses for kids. I have had this one for a while um, and I was actually waiting for the stand to get back in stock so I could gift this to somebody. So make sure you're always looking at these verse cards and then um, get you a verse, a stand to go with it. And again, these have been out of stock for so long and I wanted to go ahead and get my hands on one um, so I could make sure I gifted this. Or if you know somebody that is very good with woodworking, I mean, again, this is very simple. Um, a wonderful godly man at my church made me two of these. And again, it functions the same way. And he stained it. So, this is a wood that you could paint, I believe. Like, it's just a plain piece of wood. I don't feel any kind of finish or anything. It is sanded. But you could paint this or stain this if you wanted to. So, there's another thought for you. Okay, so there's that. All right, so this is a new item. This is a 60-day devotional called Secure. Open it up for you. And this color is such a pretty fallish color. It's like that burnt orange. Okay, let's start flipping through it. Um, and here's your introduction, and I just want to read, like, this first paragraph. Um, it says, Dear Reader, insecurities and weakness plague each and every one of us, yet we all deal with different insecurities and weaknesses. Some of us are insecure about how we look or talk. Some of us feel insecure about our level of education or job position. If you were asked, what is your greatest weakness, you might have trouble picking just one. You may believe that you are too critical, too much of a perfectionist, too easily distracted, or too prone to nervousness. 
Whatever we feel our unique weakness and insecurities may be, we all experience moments when a circumstance awakens something about us we do not like, and we are flooded with shame, hurt, and discouragement. So this is about looking at um, our insecurities and weaknesses, and the very last sentence down here, in Christ you are secure. So let's just kind of flip through this. And again, this is the same great quality from the Daily Grace Co. It is a stitched interior, and I don't know if you can see the stitching right there, but it does look like there's stitching and it is sewn. You have the same great artwork, the magazine feel pages. And again, you have, this is 60 days. Day one, here is your scripture. You have your scripture, but I would always encourage you to pull out your Bible and actually use your Bible so you get in the habit of opening your Bible as you're going through these. Then you have your devotional content and then pray. And it gives you a prayer to pray. So if you're struggling with what to pray, go through this. Day two. And the format is going to be the same on all of the days. And again, here's some beautiful artwork. And I'm not going to go through all of it because, again, it's 60 days. And the format's exactly the same. Your scripture, devotional content, and your prayer. And you have these throughout. There is a ribbon marker. The one thing about the Daily Grace Co. ribbon markers is to me, they feel very cheap. Um, it is a single sided, but it, it just feels very cheap to me. That is literally my only complaint about anything with the Daily Grace Co. is if there's anything with the ribbon marker, it just doesn't feel like it's a really good quality. Other than that, I love everything about the Daily Grace Co. All right, so just kind of flipping through. Again, you're gonna see the content, you're gonna see these quotes, and this tells you what day that that quote is from. Format's the same. And let's go to the back of the book because there is an appendix of scripture. Just if you need that appendix of scripture, there you go. That's something that you can look at and go through. And then again, on the very last page, you've got their social media info, the website, the app, the podcast, the whole nine yards. All right, so again, this is, and again, you've got that beautiful gold foiling. So this is the 60 day devotional on security and being secure in Christ. All right, here is an In the Word, a journal for deeper Bible study. This is a new cover design for them. They have several new cover designs, but I don't know if you can see. There is gold foil on that, and I hope you can see that gold foil. It's beautiful. I loved that color. It is spiral bound. Again, a lot of places will not do your gold foiling on the back. However, the Daily Grace Co. did. So their logo has that gold foil and even some of the middle of the flowers and the little berries has the gold foil. So let's open it up. All right, you have a pocket right here for sticking notes. Um, maybe you have Bible study stickers that you wanna insert in there. Tons that you can use that pocket for. Okay, here is your introduction. You have part of Psalm 119 right here. And if you haven't read Psalm 19, it is, go read Psalm 119. It is the longest chapter in the whole Bible. But y'all, it is all about knowing God's word, reading God's word, learning from God's word. And I will tell you time and time again, every time you find a synonym to God's word, such as precepts, law, scripture, statutes, decrees, I would always highlight it. And I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm using one of my Diversity retractable highlighters. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping your word. 
Um, I have sought you with all my heart. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have treasured your word and my heart so that I might not sin against you. Lord, may you be blessed. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I proclaim all the judgments from your mouth. I rejoice in the way revealed by your decrees as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and think about all your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. That is an easy, easy way to get started marking keywords in this passage of scripture. All right, and then you have the introduction from the Daily Grace Co. Ladies. Um, what this is, this is a book of daily exposition worksheets. Now, it tells you how to use it just a little bit. You have a before you begin checklist. We're going to go through that. And it says, most importantly, we encourage you as you start each day to pray. All right. Here is your table of contents. It says, in the back of this journal, you will find a section of extra resources that will aid in your study of Scripture, especially if you are new to reading and studying the Bible in this way. Before you begin, take a moment to look through these resources and familiarize yourself with them and use them as a reference throughout your time in the Word. So here are the resources in the back. The interpretation process, the inductive method, questions for application, Hermeneutical fallacies and principles. It's a lot of big words, but it's okay. Attributes of God, Christ in all of Scripture, genre in Scripture, timeline of Scripture, biblical theology themes, biblical symbolism, and transition words. And then over here, you have a great place. You are creating your own contents of study. So as you go through books of the Bible and you're using this resource, you can tell yourself, well, if I'm doing Genesis, I'm starting Genesis on page 6. Well, I might not get to Exodus until page 56. This is for you to study and go as deep as you want to. You take your time with this study. Um, and the, again, this is not a study in and of itself. This is a resource. All right. So before you begin, before studying any book of the Bible, it is worthwhile to gather background information um, in order to understand the historical context in which the book was written. Some information can be found in the text itself, while other information will require the use of commentaries or other resources. One good place to find this information is in the introduction to each Bible, each book of the Bible in the ESV Study Bible. Um, the ESV Study Bible is probably one of the most complete, awesome resources um, that there is. And if you will hold on, I will go get mine. So hold that thought. Okay, so this is my ESV study Bible. You will not find one just like this because I customized it. I covered it with fabric, all the fun things. So this is my ESV study Bible. And just so you can see, here is my title page. And this is the large print edition. So let's just go to the beginning of Genesis. Well, like you even have an introduction to the Pentateuch. All right, so here is your introduction to Genesis. It is very comprehensive. Still in the introduction. And then here is an outline of Genesis. And then here we get into, so like this part is the scripture. This part is commentary. Now, I will tell anybody when you are reading commentary, some commentaries can lean different directions as far as theology. So know what you believe um, and just be careful and know that the commentary is of man and then you have your scripture. So there you go. So this is just something that they, they just reference the ESV study Bible. That's the only reason I pulled mine out. 
There are other really phenomenal study Bibles that you can use that will have good introductions to each book of the Bible. So, and then there's lots of good information in the back. You've got maps. This is not an ESV study Bible review, even though it feels like it. Um, there's all kinds of great information in the back of this book. I'm just going to show you. So all of this right here is additional resources in the back of the ESV study Bible. Lots of good information. All right, so there you go. So that is my ESV study Bible. It is a big, really big Bible. I did add some extra stuff to it. And moving on. Okay, let's get back to this. So it gives you a list of questions that you're gonna wanna answer who wrote the book, who was it written to, when was it written, what are the prominent themes, what are the repeated words, what is the historical, literary, and biblical context, and these are pieces of information you will find in a really good introduction to the book of the Bible in any study Bible or in a commentary. Um, over here, it says, for the use and flexibility of this journal, we recommend answering these questions on a separate sheet of paper and keeping it tucked into your Bible or this journal. If you decide to study multiple books of the Bible in depth and would like to create a library of your studies, consider the book by book study booklets from the Daily Grace Code. These booklets are designed specifically for you to dive deep into background information of each book you study. And this is teaching you um, it says, thank you for choosing this journal as you inductively study the Word of God. Okay, this is what your pages are going to look like. Over here, you have the passage of study and you have the date. So if you want to keep up with the date that you're studying. Commentary, what is the context of the passage? What does the text say? You have four questions to answer here. You can make notes on the passage here. Over here, it has what they call a Christological bridge. It says this short section is perhaps the most important in each study day. This is where we will think through all of the study in the text and connect the text to Jesus and the gospel. This bridge between the commentary on the text and the application of the text will help preve prevent against moralistic application. And then you have these questions to answer on the Christological bridge. And then you have your conclusion and application. What applications can you make? What conclusions can you draw, etc. And then it's the exact same thing on the next page. So you could divide Genesis 1 into multiple days. It does not have to be... Um, all of a chapter on one day. You can absolutely divide it up. You can go as in depth as you want to with this type of journal. All right, let's move to the back because literally it's all the same. It's just a journal to work through as you study. And let's look at all these resources that we talked about. Here's your extra resources guide the interpretation process, and you have this chart, and I'm not gonna read all that because I don't want this to be too long. You have the inductive method, steps for proper observa observation, then you have interpretation and application, that is the inductive method. Questions for application. So if you're struggling with the application process, you can pull out this page and go through these questions and see, okay, Genesis was not written to me. We know it's a historical book, but is there any application I can pull and apply today? You can go through that. Hermeneutical fallacies and principles. You can go through this. Um, it says hermeneutical principles are principles of the Bible study that we should always employ when reading scripture to avoid misinterpretation. So here's your fallacy and here's your principle. The back 
Both pages are the attributes of God. And I will tell you this, if you have gotten any of their studies recently, the attributes of God is in every study that I have seen lately. So fabulous resource to have. And you have scripture references under each um, attribute. And they also tell you like omnipotent. It says God is all powerful. His strength is unlimited. And you have scripture references to go through to, for that. So you could study, you could take a day and study each attribute of God. Go through the scripture. You might have other cross references that you want to add to that list of God is omnipotent or God is wrathful, God is sovereign. All right, Christ in all of scripture. Here is a wonderful chart of your genres of scripture. The timeline of scripture. Biblical theology themes. It says, while this list is not exhaustive, it includes many of the most prominent biblical theology themes that develop throughout scripture. This resource can be used to record notes and passages related to themes you may come across during your time in the Word, which I love that they give you blank space. Again, use this as a tool, like do covenants, like do a deep dive study on the covenants, write down all of your scripture passages, go through them one by one, mark them specifically in your Bible. All right, biblical symbolism. Um, Blood equals life, bread equals provision, and so forth. I love that they give you symbols and markings. You have how many times it's used in scripture, and you have scripture references. You have transition words to study. Um, so they give you examples and that it is used to show. So emphasis, importantly, absolutely, in particular, it should be noted, etc. Then you have a place for notes. And then again, you have um, all of their social website, that kind of thing. And then at the back of the book. All right, so that is the Deeper a Journal for Deeper Bible Study. So there's that. And if you hear background noise, I have the washing machine going, so I apologize for that. It'll stop in a minute. All right, this is the study that I really wanted to get my hands on. It is called Worthy Embracing Your Identity in Christ. And you see that it's got the gold foil. I love the color. I love the flowers, yada, yada, yada on the back. All right, so we live in a world, and I know I'm on a social media platform with YouTube, but so many people try to find their identity in anything and everything other than Christ. This is one of those studies that I felt is crucial. I haven't really looked through it, but I have a feeling not only is this going to be an excellent resource for teens um, and new believers and to really deep dive and understand who they are in Christ, that they are worthy in Christ, and it is through Christ alone where their identity is sealed. Um, but even as adults, I think even as adults, we struggle sometimes with who we are in Christ and our identity. Uh, and there's all kinds of factors that play into that, but I do feel like that is something that even adults struggle with, not just teenagers, but adults like my age, even older, as you enter into different stages of life, it's kind of like, well, my identity was found in raising my kids. Now I'm an empty nester. Who am I as an empty nester? What am I supposed to do with this time I have on my hands? Or, you know, now my kids are married and grown and I'm having grandkids now. Well, who am I as a grandparent? Like, this is a whole new life stage for me. Our worth is in Christ. Our identity is in Christ and Christ alone. Yes, we can find different things going on in these, eight, these different stages of life, but always and forever, as a born-again believer, our identity is in Christ. Okay, worthy embracing our identity in Christ unlock your digital study if you have not unlocked your free digital studies when you buy the book 
I encourage you to always, 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 when you buy any study from the Daily Grace Co., always, always, always unlock your digital study because there's more <laughs> than what's in this book. Always, always, always unlock your digital study. Okay. Um, here is how you do that. Study suggestions, your tools that you need, how to use this study, how to study the Bible. Here we are, the attributes of God. Again, I told you that every study that I'm seeing lately has this in there. Your meta narrative of scripture. And then here is your table of contents. This is a four week study. You do have some extras, which we've gone through in the front. There's a few more in the back. Week one, you're a child. Week two, heir. Week three, slave. Week four, saint. Now, there are multiple days in each one of these, okay? So, let's just get started. Um, here's your scripture reference. This is why you need your Bible. This is one of the things I do love as well about the Daily Grace Coast Studies. You have your scripture reference Get out your Bible, open your Bible, read it in your Bible. That's why you have a Bible to read from. You have your content, lots of content. Here is a quote. And then questions from the day's study. And then you also have a huge page of notes that you can take. Again, day two. Scripture, lots of scripture, two sets from Genesis and one from Galatians, your study content, a quote, and your questions. Now, the format is going to be the same on each day, so I'm just going to kind of start flipping through so you can just get an overall view of what's in here. Here is a scripture memory verse. And then here is a reflection. This covers all of week one. Once you have completed all of week one study, this is where you're going to go. Now, you can make this several days per day of study. And that's fine. This is your time with the Lord. This is God teaching you. All right, week two. You are an heir. That is your identity for this week of study. Chosen. The firstborn. Bride of Christ. Citizens of heaven. Priest. Scripture memory verse. Week three, slave. And then how interesting that it starts with free. So you need to understand the context of what it means when it says slave and free. Don't miss that. There's always, 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 always check your context. All right. Continually flipping through. So again, you're seeing that the, the format is exactly the same through all of this. So let's get to the back of the study. There's more resources at the back that I want to get to. All right, so here's your week for reflection. All right, now, this is a chart with some information that is crucial for us to look at. How salvation transforms our identity. And they have it broken down into past, present, and ongoing, and future. I'm not going to read through this, get the study, go through it. But how important it is for us to know who we were, who we are now, and what we're going to be. And your theological terms that go through that, justification, sanctification, and glorification. <clears throat> Identity, what the world says about me, 
and my identity according to God. We must seek answers from the unchanging and all-satisfying God. Amen. And then here we have what is the gospel? Scriptures for reference. And then it says, when Jesus returns, we will no longer be exiles and sojourners, but those who have finally come home. Here's a little bibliography information. And again, that page with all of your um, social info plus the website and stuff. And that is it. So there's also um, an online leader's guide. If this is a study that you want to do with a group of ladies, there is an online uh, leader's resource. Um, you can purchase it separately through the Daily Grace Co. It has some PDF information. It has some other resources. I did not purchase it, so I don't know all the details. You can get it on sale just like the books at times, so do not miss that fact, okay? Um, and that's it. So these were the resources that I purchased this round from the Daily Grace Co. Fabulous resources to have and use however you need to. Put that right there so you can see it. So the verse card stand, the 60-day devotional called Secure in the Word, a journal for deeper Bible study and worthy embracing your identity in Christ. Guys, I hope you found this video informational, informative, all the things that you enjoyed it. You just liked seeing what products that I purchased. Um, again, all of these I purchased with my own money. I always, always, always shop a sale with the Daily Grace Co. You get excellent quality materials and you can get them for a great price. Like this one, 10 bucks, right? Such a good deal. Always, always, always check your sales. There is a dollar days sale going on at the time that I'm filming this video. Um, yeah, so always check for sales. If you have any comments, any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. Um, and that's it, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things that you know to do. I don't have to say it, but I said it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a joyful day. Bye-bye.